the standard has been raised about what looks good, especially on a website. And what looks good on paper may not look good on a website. And so as you get into the origin application, you'll see that um, it, it's definitely got a different feel. This is interactive. I mean, you can zoom in on it, you can zoom out, you can query data, you can, you know, uh, print out maps, you can do measuring on it. Uh, none of that stuff was available before. Now that we've put Origin out there, it's, uh, as we talk to people, with more and more applications that people are using it for, code enforcement, they're telling us they're saving two to three hours a day on their staff. Water Resources is telling us they're saving a similar amount of time, not having to go out and do measurements, but they're doing it in-house. And just from what we didn't even calculate in our return on investment, it's an extra thirty, forty thousand dollars that we're saving the city. Doing that kind of calculation up front and being able to hand numbers to the management and saying, here's what we did, here's how much we spent on it, here's what you're getting in return, is a big deal, I guess, right now, especially in this economy. The biggest impact of Viper is it's enabling the end user to use GIS tools on a daily basis without knowing that it's, quote, GIS. And so it's intuitive to them from an emergency management standpoint. So if there's an operator in the emergency operations center, the operator can interact with the information without having to go through me. Uh, so a tool like Viper allows, uh, allows them as end users and operators to be able to uh, interact with information, to be able to make decisions quickly and rapidly and effectively. It has revolutionized the way we do business in Virginia already, and we're just scratching the, the tip of the iceberg. One of the concepts that we put into Viper that I'd like to bring out is we call it reporting by exception. What reporting by exception is, is answers the questions of, I don't know what I don't know. What we've done with Viper is we've said, I want you to display something to me when it meets a predefined trigger point that we've established. When a temperature reaches below 32 degrees, a purple dot appears on the map. I don't want to see all the temperatures all the time. I just want to see the ones I'm worried about. When it goes below 35.6 degrees, a pink dot appears on the map. Why do I care about 35.6 degrees? Because that's the temperature that roads start to freeze at. So that's why it's this reporting by exception capability has been a true enabler for our watch officers in the EOC to monitor the Commonwealth all the time in real time. For us, the return on investment uh, is uh, many fold, being that our GIS personnel does not have to spend time during an augmentation making maps because we have that stuff in place already. The fact that end users can quickly get their information and do analysis real time. Um, the fact that we're able to take so many different data sources. We're getting Virginia Department of Transportation, National Weather Service, our own crisis management information, and overlay that with traditional GIS static layers, like where are the hospitals, where are the schools, where is our critical infrastructure infrastructure and empowering the person behind that web browser to make those decisions without having to ask because we've already thought about what they need to look at in order to make the correct decisions. So if we're able to just save one life or, or you know save one piece of property that is worth more than, than any money at all to us because that's our main mission and that's what's most important. Everything that we do as a government, everything we do as a state has to relate to the map of the state of Maryland. So it, maps are critically important for not only measuring our inputs, but just as important for measuring our outputs. Important to show the citizens how their government works for them in the place that they call home. Statesat has been tasked by the governor to track all the recovery uh, money coming in from the federal government to the state of Maryland under the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. We use the maps to depict exactly where the money is going. We track the money as it comes from the federal government into the state agencies or directly to the local levels and then we project that information on the website so the end user, the Marylanders, can go onto the website and they can see exactly where the money is going. And the website, which is updated every day, will then show the money not only as it just comes to the state but as the state then in turn puts it in the community down to a very detailed level. We could no more think about reducing crime, cleaning up the Chesapeake Bay, improving test scores without having the ability to quickly map and analyze data. I mean, it's how I think every government should operate.